great to meet you. Hello, everybody. What do you think is the worst thing that is happening to the environment, and how would you solve it? Obviously, I'm sure you've heard about climate change, the fact that we're basically heating up our planet and we have to stop uh, pumping greenhouse gases, things like emissions from cars, emissions from factories. The Green Party thinks that dealing with that and also dealing with the big social problems in our society, the fact that so many people are really struggling to put food on the table, you know, that's all part of the problem. Our system isn't working and it needs to change. Natalie, if you concentrate on the environment and animal welfare, what happens to the economy in the NHS? Well, if you think about one of our policies is transport. If we invest in public transport, we create jobs for train engineers, we create jobs for bus drivers. That means people don't have to drive around in their cars, we can cut our emissions, we've got the jobs. So what we really need to do is need to invest. And in terms of the NHS, we very much believe in, we want to put 12 billion pounds in the first year, going up to 20 billion pounds by the end of the parliament into the NHS. Where's all the money coming from to pay for your policies? Big companies like Amazon and Starbucks and all those, you know, those big brands you see across the high street. At the moment, many of them just aren't paying their fair share of taxes. We need to make them pay their taxes fairly. And we also need to make sure that rich people who've done really well out of the previous boom years, that they pay back into society, pay their fair share. What changes would you make to the school curriculum to make sure that children coming from other countries learn and achieve as much as possible? We'd like to see education system much less about tests and exams and more about learning skills, knowledge, and also learning practical things like um, cooking, whether it's things like first aid, what to do if someone gets injured or is sick. Ten-year-old Sonny from Yorkshire asks, if we get rid of our nuclear weapons, how do we protect ourselves? These are absolutely hideous weapons and the world has agreed for decades that we should never use these. And I believe that we never can use these. In which case, why have we got them? We need to invest in aid help people around the world tackle hunger, tackle disease, really fight for human rights. And that's how we'll ultimately end up much more secure in Britain. Where is the money for university's tuition fees going to come from if you make it for free? Well, what we're going to do is still put the money from the government into those universities. So the funding for the universities is staying the same. If you go to university at the moment, young people are leaving university now with £44,000 worth of debt. And nearly three quarters of them will never actually pay that off. So what we've got now isn't working. Hi, my name is Anjali and I would like to know if you're ever thinking to join Labour. Um, we have said we wouldn't work with the Tory party at all, but with Labour we wouldn't form a coalition like the Liberal Democrats and the Tories have done in the recent Parliament. But we would consider supporting Labour on a vote-by-vote -vote basis. So what that would mean, for example, is we're very strongly opposed to trident nuclear weapons. We vote against those. So if we're supporting on a vote-by-vote -vote basis, it means we don't have to vote against our principles, against our values. What advice would you give to young people going into politics? Politics is all kind of things that happen in the community. Politics is making change happen. Maybe if there's something you don't like about how things work at your school, start a petition, get your classmates to sign, we'd like this to be done differently. All of those things are politics. So, you know, I'd say politics should be something that you do, ways that you change your community, change the life of yourself and your friends. 